Welcome back. The History Museum is hosting its third annual Explore Mobile. You have the opportunity to explore the city, food, and experience live music, along with free or discounted admission to city's tourist att attractions. This morning we have Gavin Snyder, the Explore Mobile director. So excited that you're here with us this morning. Yes. I know you're excited about this Sunday because it's the third annual of Explore Mobile. Exactly. So this is our third year um, allowing the citizens of Mobile to Explore Mobile, and we're really excited about it at the History Museum of Mobile. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a fun day on Sunday from 1 to 6 in Mardi Gras Park. And um, our really big mission here is for those that live in the city who never make it downtown, who want to see what Mobile All has to offer, this is your chance to do it. So um, we have different museums and attractions that will be open for free, like the History Museum of Mobile, the Ford of Colonial Mobile. You can take a free tour of the Dora Franklin Finley African American wow. Trail. Um, you can do discounted admission um, places like Gulf Quest will only be $5 this weekend. Um, Wild Native will be doing their uh, their boat tours um, only for $10. So lots of good things to do this weekend at a really, really good price or for free. So of we're excited course. to have it. I know you're so excited now. You have a lot of food and live music too. Let's hit on that because yes. we all know food's important, right? Exactly. And that's one thing that we love about this event is not only are we showing people how to explore mobile in our attractions and our museums, but you can explore our local food here. You yeah. can explore the local music. You can explore the uh, local boutiques and shops. So we'll have um, a vendor section right there on Royal Street in front of the History Museum of Mobile at Mardi Gras Park where local vendors that you may see at Art Walk and things like that will be selling different jewelry and shirts and things like that. Um, we'll also have local food trucks, um, so Blues Burgers, um, Fritos, Popsicles, everybody loves those. Um, and then we'll also have a stage with live music. So we'll have the Speaking Sparrows, which um, is a really lo good local band, um, the Cedric Brooks Project, Teddy Williams, and then also a special performance from The Pack, which is wow. a new theater group that started just a couple years ago. So really, really excited. Lots of good things. And really, this is a chance if you never come downtown and you don't really know what your hometown's about, this yeah. is your chance to see it all at one time. Of course, all at one time and for a great price or even possibly free. Now, it's going to be really good weather too, maybe a little warm. So know the Frios popsicles will be perfect yes. for that. <laughs> so if our friends at home want to get more information, want to come on out, where can they do so? And yes. what's the date? So we have a Facebook page and Instagram. Um, it's Explore Mobile AL, like Alabama. And then we also have a website which is just exploremobile.org. So all the information is there, contact information. So if you have a question, you're unsure where to park, you can mm -hmm. obviously give us a call. Um, one other thing I do want to mention too is at the History Museum, we actually have made a passport for kids and adults. Wow. So you can pick up a passport at any of the attractions and really take it around to all the different attractions, have them stamp it. And when you complete it, you can bring it back into the History Museum for a special prize. Um, so you can also get your passport picture taken there too. So really cool adventure thing we're trying this year um, to hopefully get everybody in these attractions and really um, push them to explore their city. Of course, so. a great opportunity to do that. A lot of cool vendors, food trucks, a lot of things to see. Now, if, do they need to register or sign up to do that? There's no need to register. Um, so you can come downtown um, between the hours of one and six and all the trucks will be set up and the vendors and the attractions will be open. Um, now, some of the tours like the Dora mm -hmm. Franklin Finley African American Trail um, and the boat tours, they do um, only operate at the top of each hour. So there's no reservations, but you definitely want to get there early because it is limited seating on the bus and um, on the boat. So. Of course. Well, thank you so much for being yeah, here with you. us I this morning. It. Of course. And we'll have all of this information at fox10tv.com right under the Studio 10 tab. Joe.